Okay, we want to thank Dutch for his video, but basically I showed you here in this video that we already knew that they, uh, well, anyway, we know it's going to be bigger than hail Bop, so that's going to be pretty damn bright. Brightest ever? Well, we'll see, you know, because that's the th main thing. Is it hasn't went by the sun yet that we know of. We figured that this comet has never been by the sun, or if it has been by the sun, it was by before way a long time ago. It might even actually, well, watch that video, and you'll see, because there's old history in 16-something uh there was a comet that came by. So anyway, I got some footage that I'm going to give you. But first off, let's go ahead and take a look at how lucky we were to have a CME miss Earth. Or it's going to miss Earth. Okay, now we also have one that's going to basically uh, late Sunday night or Monday morning is going to hit us. That was the one that I had the d data for earlier. Uh not the last video, but the video before last, like three or four videos back. I forget which one it was, but we had a big one that we did get. We've already been absorbing that material, but it was a big, like I call them ashy or snow type uh, CMEs because it's not a big direct hard like this one here is. But also this could have been the sea that was kind of an ashy anyway. So it, basically no matter what, it's a sea. And what I want you to do is, is concentrate on that too. Let's go look at that on the data. Like I said, our solar wind speed is slow, and they got us at quiet, yeah, temperature-wise, because we're getting most all that heat from Alaraf or whatever the heck's behind. Everything else in the supergiants is hotter and intense right now. Uh, they got us listed as active again. And then, uh, basically, North Dakota got that earthquake, the video for before this. Go check that out. I felt it. Basically woke me up because I was sleeping on the deck. It rumbled, and then I heard, and it rumbled and popped is pretty much what it did, Okay. The rumble woke me up, and the pop made me go, shit, but I can't say that it was an earthquake because I don't know. And then I come and I research, so watch the video before this, we had an earthquake. Okay, but the number one thing I wanted you to pay attention to in here on the data that I showed in the last video was, we got to go back to this. I mean, I kind of, I basically showed it, but it's very impressive that the idea, look at all these C's. That's a C, that's a C, that's a C. These two barely miss, that barely misses C. C, 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 C. These are a bunch of C, C, M, E flares, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Sure, but the I, this is big and it's just a whammo, a whammo. But this is bam, 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 bam. Okay? Machine gunorama. So, and then remember, we gotta go, I got to go to RSOE. But let's give you the ISON. We'll basically show you ISON from the NASA projection. This big-ass big, big -ass comet's going to be around here. November, December of next year. I think we'll probably start being able to see it in October, honestly. And what I'm really beginning to wonder if this is actually the comet that we ended up seeing on Sechi a long time ago, okay? And basically Soho, and I saw it on the blue background, and I said, look, we got a new comet. And whatever the hell, it's way the hell out there. But the thing is, if it is, there was another part of it. And every one of these comments, even Lovejoy, when it came around, we ended up knowing that it was like three pieces. Okay? So these comments, dying stars, usually end up being, just like when you see we have constellations that from the Big Bangs or Big Bang, the stars that we have out that are stuck in constellations that are there, they don't move that much, okay? But now the sun does rotate, and we rotate, okay? That's the specialness of the sun and earth, okay? Now, there are suns that rotate out there real fast, and black and dark ones, at least they look that way. They give us black light down here on earth. Through what filtration? Through space? We don't know yet. Now, just watch this, because basically this is playing earth spinning around very fast, because this is speeding it up and showing you that it's coming towards us in its path. Basically, it shows it coming in and going out. It's around August. It should be visible. See, I was off by a whole month, or two months, August, September. So basically, 
I don't really know about the idea of the factual actual. Just imagine how bright this could have been because remember how I said to go back into the storied history of the Bible and other, not even religious, but the idea that to look away from the sun. Don't look at it. And she got blinded. Okay. So if you watch the video that I showed you previously on mine, it'll be the other information that I originally had. And basically, watch my video I first put out on that, and you'll basically have a lot more information on ISON. It's going to be hella bright, brighter than Hale-Bopp. told you guys a long time ago when I first seen it, I had guys talking about it. The guy put the comment to one of my videos, and then I went and checked it out, and it's like, yep, going to be brighter than Hale-Bopp. That's hella bright. So basically, the uh, one thing that bothers us the most, the Sechi is not uh, letting us uh, view any movies right now. So I guess the meatball and the, my latest coverage that I've been showing you of the sun, I think a lot of people have been seeing it. And actually, that is a fact because I go to my, well, let me go show you. Hang on. Because even if I try to go to Sechi High right now, that's what it gives me. So that's not good at all. So we get Soho image and so forth and so like that. But I like the Sechi movies and so do you. So I'll see what I can dig up. The S Rim. The S-R-E-M. I love those shots, but the idea that you have a hard time blowing them up to be able to view them, so you got to do this. And yeah, it halves right through the middle, but you can see the sun and the supergiants going at it because that's what we're getting, okay? Like I've always showed you in the past, and they don't like me proving absolutely to everybody that it's almost like they're pagan worshippers or something like that, that they think that there's just the sun. Well, there's the sun in the supergiants. And something... Sure the hell affecting the sun right now, okay? So that's one of them shots there, okay? And basically, see, this is all the other selections are going to get right now. I'm not going to get the Sechi high. So this is basically the same thing in black and white, H12, okay? Now what it basically does, folks, is it ends up giving me these shots here to the left. If you see these thumbnails to the left, I'm going to try to dig this thumbnail up here because the idea that it ends up going to show us a planet there on the backside shot on H1B, okay? B, H1, okay? This is where you'd normally get your movie, okay? So they are getting movies. They just don't want us to see this dramatic action, which basically this just missed Earth. Watch this. This is why I emphasize this action here and why they don't let us see the movies right now. And repeat, this is just going to miss Earth. Matter of fact, we're going to get some of it. We are going to get some of this tail right there. Okay, We're going to get that. That's going to amount to a pretty good amount. Right there, that very end of that tail, that CME. And we've got one we're already absorbing right now. Okay, So that's why there has been down power. There has been down power. You could check around the country or call some relative somewhere. Hey, has the power been out around where you guys? Oh, a little bit of this and that. Off and, down, off and on. So... And a lot of sites don't have their stuff going because they're trying to protect their uh, their hard drives. Now, no matter what, we want to thank Sech for getting these shots up because at least we get to see a shot, okay? So let's go to this one on the 26th from the back side of this, the other side of the sun, which more than likely, see, basically this shot comes off of, uh, well, uh, it's still coming off this camera, I guess. Basically mirrors. Yes, they can see anything anybody does here on Earth, ladies and gentlemen. This is bullshit of they can't find this and they can't find that. And he ain't dead, and you know that. No apologies, because the U.S. military is a very not happy about it. Anybody that has served, they don't like being Hollywood, okay? They're not, the U.S. military is nothing about Hollywood at all. They're trained to kill people, okay? So anyway, we pretty much would figure... That that would have to be, well, Mercury, Mars, Venus. If this would have directly hit Earth, this would have been catastrophic. You see, just the figure if Earth was right here, that would have been catastrophic power outages all over the place. That would have been a whammo, okay? Would have been power down everywhere. Everybody would have started panicking. And remember, this is our current solar configuration. The sun's right here in the well. It's in the middle. It's not marked. Where the tip of my fing that finger on my hand uh, extended from my mouse top. <laughs> okay, so basically, like I was saying, it's Mercury or Venus. Now, don't get me wrong. It could possibly be Venus, but it really should be Mercury, okay, in that shot. Now, when we're here, remember, this is coming out of this box here. The sun's way down in that tiny speck in that little hole there. Just realize how your big Uranus and Neptune and Pluto are to us right now as viewers, close to them as we're going to be in anybody's lifetime, okay? 
even your great, great, great. I, don't, I can't remember how many thousands of years it takes for us to come back around in this spin. Okay, and it, it, no matter what, it takes at least 82 to 88 years to get back in this position again. Okay, we're playing Russian roulette, folks. We're barely missing it. We're getting luckier in hell. Earth's gonna be around a long time longer because I tell you what, we're a little rabbit hiding out in a hole. We're luckier than shit. I'd rather be lucky any day than good. Check that out. That's us. That's Earth down there, folks, right there. And we're barely missing these big ass blasts. I always watch full screen in this, and then this is pretty much why we're not getting any feeds because they're getting blanked out by. But it would be nice to see the images that we end up getting because then that's usually when we get the blinking is when we end up finding objects that are messed up by the CME action that they're getting. So basically, they're getting pummeled with CMEs up there. And this is what we're getting. Okay. Now remember, we pretty much surmise that to be Mercury. Okay. And basically, that is the sun doing its CME right there. Okay, people. And if you don't believe me, something, I'm not at Fireball yet, but you don't believe that something dark got in front of the sun, check that out. Because that's the sun over there, folks. And it got dark. Okay. Showed you on this, 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 and that, and the pictures in the past here. So check all the little thumbnails to the left. I'm scrolling through them real fast. Pretty much showed you the best you could get out of there. Let's check this one out. So this is pretty much probably when it did the top and bottom magnet magnetical. Okay. Something big up, up there is something humongous flipping with the sun, folks. And if you don't believe me, check these stills out I got from H1B. Ch check how dark it got. I think it's the meatball, I'm starting to think. I'm starting to really think it is the meatball. It's doing its gig on the sun. Something's up. Check that darkness out. That's why we're not getting any videos from them right now. The sun's in the well in the hole here behind the satellite's uh, solar power. Oh, shit. Arm. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. So there's Uranus at our back door. More than likely, that's we're getting dark shadows from Uranus. Herculobus or whatever down there at Nehemiah. Watch the next video. I'll go and I'll give you the latest shot. But this is this shot. I think it, maybe this might be the latest shot, but a lot of darkness up there, folks, where normally the sun would be, be, real, be real bright. And this is the latest shot I get from Sechi High B. So there you go. There's your filament action you're normally used to seeing. So there's something big and dark up there, isn't there, ladies and gentlemen? Actual factual fact. Probably the meatball, ladies and gentlemen. Something's covering up a bunch of light. Because this is the latest shot, and then you can see the upper area is real dark. So, and then basically there is the meatball right there, folks. There's something there. Check it out. Okay, I'm going to blow it up a little bit more, and then I'll try to do the shot just before this. But you can see a big circular right here. So it's either meatball again, or it's something huge up there besides the meatball. Remember, the meatball is hella bigger than that, but let's check this out. So follow my cursor, folks. No matter what, you cannot miss this here. This is very round right here. Check that out. That is very round right there. And you seen from the earlier black and white something was going on. But so check that out. Anyway, no matter what, that's a very spherical dark spot right there. Something's up there get, catching and pushing, pushing a bunch of light from the sun right there. Check that out. That is a big disc, and that's not nothing man-made. We think we found another meatball, folks. So what I did on this is I zoomed out, and you can't miss it, folks. Then there's almost like there's maybe, well, it doesn't matter. This looks like a shadow of what this here is doing right here, okay? And this here should be a star cluster that we should know from working at Worldwide Telescope, or some astronomer should know, okay? Some astronomer should know what cluster that is. And then there's something dark behind it. Because it's in front, this here cluster is in front of whatever this dark mass is back here. Okay, is that the meatball and it's farther away and then we've seen it humongous before. we almost seen it like this size before over here. This is vast amounts of space that we're looking at. So, something's going on. Latest shot. Can't miss it and you've seen it, just back my video up a little bit and you'll see the other shots. That's why we're not getting any Sechi feeds right now. And here's the shot just before that. You can see the CME action even getting deflected by it. Whatever the hell that dark image is right there. Whatever this darkness here is, it's blocking the CME action. Make it look as it pushes it off. 
probably even causing it to begin with. Okay, that was an hour before. Now we have to start asking ourselves: Is it Uranus? What is that huge behind it, down out there? With